I'm so excited about today's video because we're counting down five of my favorite Javoy fragrances. Javoy is a niche perfume house from Paris, France. You're also going to have a chance at winning a sample of each as I'm doing this giveaway myself. We're going to find out all about it coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Javoy is a French or Parisian niche perfume house that I discovered about four years ago in Paris at the Javoy Boutique. So Javoy is a house, a perfume house that resurrected about, I guess maybe the early 2010s, but it existed around the Roaring Twenties up until just after the war when it folded. And Javoy is named after Blanche Arvoy, who used to be called Jo, and so they took the Jo for Javoy from her name. I guess that was her nickname. And then the Arvoy uh, is the last name. I guess it's her ha husband's last name. So they took those two names and combined the name to become Javoy. So I fell in love with the fragrances from the owner of the, the store and the brand, uh, Francois Hanin. He showed me his brand. In fact, he showed me the whole store. But when he showed me Javoy, I was kind of really blown away from uh, the fragrances I smelled. Immediately, I rushed out to buy Private Label, then it was Psychedelique, then it was Incident Diplomatique, then we had a few others, and now we have a top five list. So, can you guess my number one, first of all? Stay tuned to find out what they are. But also, as I said at the beginning, I am doing a giveaway of a sample of each of these fragrances to a lucky subscriber on this channel. So, find out about how to get the samples worldwide after the video. So, let's, get, let's go ahead and get started. So at number five, the fragrance I'm picking at number five is La Liturgie des Ors, this one right here. These are the bottles, and La Liturgie des Ors is right there. So this is, uh, I, I guess it stands for, La, La Liturgie des Ors stands for uh, the Liturgy of Hours. So it's an incense fragrance with lots of uh, cypress notes and uh, resin notes. Uh, so you've got olibanum, myrrh, you also have labdanum, green notes, and musk uh, in this fragrance, but a great, great incense. This was featured uh, on our incense video. My friend who owns a bottle of this, she put it up at the top, and I agree with her because it is really a great, great incense. I absolutely love it, but you know what? It's not just incense. I mean, it's lots of incense, plus it's also the resins that kind of gives it a churchy kind of feel. But you also have green notes in there, and you have that cypress, which is also very, very green, gives it a very green smell rather than just like church, if that makes sense. So if you don't know La Liturgy des Ors, you should try it, especially if you like incense fragrances, like if you like fragrances like um, Comme des Garçons Avignon or, uh, you know, Montal's Full Incense and things like that. I recommend this one. You should give it a try because it's great. The other thing I love about Javoy fragrances are their beast mode. So if you like beast mode, these are the ones for you. Check them out. The fragrances retail uh, for $180 in a 100ml bottle, all five of them that I'll be discussing today. And they are EDP or de parfum concentration. So this is La Liturgie des Ours and number five. All right, at number four, we're going to a fragrance style that I really, really love. One fragrance that's very, uh, just me. It's sweeter a, a bit and it could be spicy. A very oriental is the style of fragrance. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Ombre Premier. So Premier Amber, basically. So Ombre Premier was launched in 2011 and created by Michel Sarami, Sarmiot, I think that's how you say the name, from Roberté. And the fragrance has notes of amber, patchouli, vanilla, spices, citruses, and rose. Again, a very, very gorgeous amber, classy, but spicy and just gooey a little bit because of the amber note with the vanilla as well, just gorgeous. I mean, I find the vanilla to be here a little more potent than um, normal in other amber fragrances, which gives it a more cozy, comfy feeling. For an amber, which is mostly, sometimes can be like really spicy and kind of uh, uh, more like uplifting rather than like cozy, <clears throat> but here, 
With the vanilla, it gives it a more cozy feel, even if it has those spicy notes in it. So this one is really, really gorgeous. If you like ambers, this one's to try. The amber here for Ambre Premier kind of reminds me of fragrances like Metro Hafume at Gantier's Amber, Priso, or things like that. So if you like fragrances like that, uh, this one's definitely one to try. So Ambre Premier from Jovoy at number four for the top five Jovoy fragrances. All right, so number three is the fragrance that I first purchased from this house called Private Label, this one right here. This was created by Cecile Zorokian, and it was launched in 2011. But boy, this one is one of the most butch fragrances that I put my nose on, and this is about vetiver. And again, this is also about patchouli, leather, papyrus, sandalwood, and labdanum. Also, when you smell it, it kind of comes off a bit boozy. So I was playing around with this one time with a friend, and uh, we were sp speaking, and uh, this is a woman, and she likes to drink uh, big, cocktails like whiskey and things like that and she was saying how this reminded her of um, a library with cigars and whiskey sippy and I totally agree because it really does smell like that but it is also very uh, vetiver -y. like it's like vetiver is king here and if you love vetiver big bold beastly vetiver uh, private label is the one for you and as I said it is really a butch of a fragrance like really really butch like big and bold beast mode comes to mind with this one actually beast mode comes to mind with all of the fragrances but this is really really intense like intense major um, so if you like your uh, fragrances really loud big bold this is the one for you and if you're looking for your beast mode vetiver fragrance uh, this is it leather is also king here with patchouli but you also get a major dose of Papyrus. I mean, it's in there. It's major. I mean, I can pick it up big time with the vetiver. So I like that combo and I don't have any fragrances in my collection and as I love vetivers, but I don't have any vetivers that have that combo of that papyrus. And here I get a major dose of the papyrus. It also almost has like a papery kind of um, smell, but not, not like manufactured where it's run through all the processing just before. So it's really, really great fragrance and still boozy as well. So if you like that sort of thing, give it a try. Private label, a great, great release. Awesome stuff. Okay, at number two, we're going to the fragrance that I really, really love as a patchouli fragrance, and that is Psychedelic. So this was featured recently at number one in our uh, top 20 patchouli fragrances video because I absolutely think I absolutely think it's one of the best patchouli fragrances if not the best at least to me I find it to be big bold beastly but very very dark chocolatey patchouli as soon as you put your nose on it you also get a little bit of a boozy quality to it so it's slightly boozy from the chocolatiness of the patchouli there's amber in here there's vanilla labdanum musk geranium citruses and rose Man, this is so good. I, I, I mean, I could smell it and it's almost like I want to drink it. That's how good it is because it tastes, I mean, it smells tasty. Um, there's just that chocolatey touch, almost like a chocolate liqueur laced with patchouli and vanilla, if that makes sense. And this one is perfect fragrance for winter. Lasts a long time and smells just decadent. Like, like you're having like this big decadent chocolate pile of chocolate. It's so good. So good. Um, if you don't know uh, Psychedelic, definitely give it a try. I, this stands for like the psychedelic 60s, I think, when a lot of uh, people were wearing patchouli. And um, it is not that kind of patchouli because I find this to be very decadent and gourmandish almost. But still, I, I get the name. It totally makes sense. It's really appropriate. So Psychedelic from Jovoy. That's at number two. Check it out. All right, last but not least, the fragrance that was launched last year that I reviewed for Javoy last year. This is, once again, vetiver and patchouli. No, it's not private label because we've already spoken about private label and that is at number three. This is Incident Diplomatique, a major, major compliment getter for me. People stop me on the street and ask me what I'm wearing. Completely different than Private Label. It's completely. I mean, there's something about this one that almost makes me melt. It's 
almost orgasmic, if that makes sense. Just put your nose to it and wow, just does something to me. There's lots of vetiver, as I said, lots of patchouli, sandalwood, orange uh, citrus notes, and nutmeg. So that's all the notes that are listed here. And boy, do they work so well together. And uh, man, this is my favorite release that I reviewed last year. Absolute, hands down, my favorite fragrance that I reviewed last year. So I reviewed a lot of fragrances and Incident Diplomatique is my best fragrance that I reviewed out of probably a hundred fragrances I reviewed, if not more. It's that good. If you don't know this one, man, you've got to try it. If you love vetiver, you've got to try it. If you love patchouli, you've got to try it. It's almost the best combo of patchouli and vetiver working together. I mean, it's more vetiver, but that patchouli is also pretty dominant. But man, it's just magic. Just awesomeness. If you, uh, if you don't know it, you've got to try Incident Diplomatique. Um, awesome stuff. Just a masculine, quality, classy release from Javoy that you should totally know about. If you don't know already, because I highly recommend this one and I praised it so much already, but if you still haven't tried it, give it a try. Get yourself some samples or decants or buy a full bottle. As I said, they retail for $180 for 100 ml. They're under $200. It's still a great price for niche and total beast mode. You only need two, three sprays at the most of these five fragrances and you'll be set for the day. That's how strong they are. That's how potent they are. They just last all day. And this one works so well with my body chemistry. As I said, it's a major compliment getter for this one. Get lots of compliments. And I had to put it at number one because not only is the compliments, lasts a long time, but it was the best fragrance I reviewed last year. So that's Incident Diplomatique at number one. And guys, that's the top five list. What are your thoughts? Do you like these fragrances? Have you tried any Javoy fragrances? Which is your favorite Javoy fragrance? Put some comments down. Let's get a conversation started. Also, as I said, I am doing a sample giveaway worldwide for one lucky subscriber of this channel. I'll be making the samples myself from these fragrances. Participate in the giveaway. All you have to do is put down what you liked about this review and which fragrance sounds the best to you. Five samples to one lucky subscriber worldwide. Good luck with that. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about Javoy. Please put them down. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.